Hey everyone, it's Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs and today I wanted to share a little bit about the Leonardo Design Studio and explain what a compound path is. I had this question on my Facebook group so I thought I'd show you some examples. Compound paths are one of probably the hardest things for some users to grasp the concept of. You see them every day, you just don't know it. And once you get that light bulb moment, then you can really start to play around with some designs, create your own designs. And it's really just that light bulb moment that it comes and aha, you understand it. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Like I said, you see compound paths every day, no matter what you're doing. Um, in design software like Leonardo Design Studio or Silhouette Studio or even Cricut Design Space, you work with compound paths all the time. You may not be thinking that you are, um, but it's something that you do just out of habit or um, understanding how they work can help you. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to share an example. I am just going to go and I'm going to come down here to the text tool. And I'm going to pick a bold font. I don't know if I like that or not, but I'm just going to type out the letter O. So for example, um, I actually don't want to do that. Let me see if I can do a new text. I just need a new text of the letter O. And I'm going to click apply. So here we have this O on our screen. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see this on the screen. And O is a compound path. You don't think about it because you're thinking in terms of text, but an O is a compound path. Um, a letter H, if I make a copy of this, I'm going to control C, control V, and I'm going to change this to a letter H. Letter H is not a compound path, and here is the difference. If I come up here to my letter O, what you see is a frame that makes up what we see as a letter O. If I right click on it, and in Leonardo Design Studio, it's called paths. Now, your terminology on different software programs, there is a reason that it has to be different terminology, and that comes down to companies claiming that they have the rights to use those specific certain terms. So in Silhouette Studio, call them compound paths. In other design software, they're called compound paths. In Leonardo Design Studio, it's just called a path. So in this case, I'm going to choose, I have to select my O first, then right click on it, and I'm gonna choose path and then break paths. And what we're gonna see is that compound path come out. So I have now broken that compound path up. It went from one layer as an O to two layers. So you have your compound path here. If I move that back on top, or I could hit um, edit, undo, and undo again, it'll go back to the exact spot. With Leonardo, when I move my mouse over it, you're gonna see that green come around the shape that's there. So if I were to change the color, select the center, change this color, you're going to see that I have two layers. I have two ovals stacked on top of each other. These are now separate pieces. If I select both of them, right click, and I go back to paths, and I choose combine paths, makes it an O on your screen. Now, I want to point out something here, because in Silhouette Studio, even if it was the compound path was broken. When you went to the send tab, because of the way the software works and how it cuts, it would still cut your letter. It didn't matter what color it is. However, in Leonardo Design Studio, I wanna show you what the difference is. I'm gonna move this H over. I'm gonna make a copy of this. And this one, I'm going to choose paths combine. So now we have the compound path is made. The top one, it is broken or it's, we've broken the path. So I'm gonna come up here to the design. And since Leonardo works off of colors, you're going to see that I have a separate piece here that is the center of that top O. So if I select this one, it's going off of colors. So in Leonardo Design Studio, your 
compound paths or your path is going to make a big difference because each one of those is a different color. So in the bottom of my O, the compound path is made, which means that it will cut because it's all one layer and it's one color. The top here that I broke that compound path out is now two layers and it's two colors. So if I go back to the design, I have two layers stacked on top of each other. To make that compound path or make the path, I right click and choose path and combine path. You can also find the same menus up here in your top toolbar. So in this case, it's under edit and then combine paths. Shortcut here is control Q. So now I wanna show you another example. Um, first, let's talk about this letter H. Since the letter H is all one path around that H, there is no compound path. It is a sing simple path. So even if I come down here and choose um, break paths, it doesn't do anything because it's a simple path. It doesn't have those two layers. Now, we're gonna choose a different example here. So we're gonna draw a simple rectangle out. And if you hold your shift key down when you draw, you can get a perfect square. I'm just gonna do a rectangle. And this is something I see a lot of people try to do um, all the time. So I wanted to share it. So I'm going to Control C, Control V and make a copy. So I have a, a copy here. I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller. We'll see why here in a second. So in this case, if I wanted to weld something to this rectangle, I'm gonna change the color here so you can see this a little bit easier. If I bring this over here and it's on the bottom, so I am going to change that and bring it to the front. I right clicked and brought that to the front so you can see it. If I wanted to weld this to a rectangle, if I select both of these as it is and I right click and I choose paths and then weld, welding combines whatever is overlapping. So in this case, the rectangle absorbs the letters. Weld doesn't work because you're trying to combine it to a single path. So if I come up here to edit and undo, if I wanted to weld to this rectangle, I'm going to work with the compound paths. So I'm going to bring in this smaller rectangle. I'm going to change the color so you can see this. And then I'm going to position it on top. And just because this is who I am, I always use the align tools. So I'm going to align center on both ways. Now I have two rectangles stacked on top of each other. If I select them both, right click and choose paths combine paths, now I have a frame. So I'm gonna back up here just a second. If I undo this, I'm gonna make a copy of this and we're gonna see it on the screen again. So if I select both the top rectangles, right click and I choose combine paths, that makes my compound path and it gives me a frame. If I again go over here to send, you're going to see the difference in how Leonardo is going to see those. Because it works off of color, I can see the frame at the top, but I only see one rectangle at the bottom. You can see here that that second rectangle that's stacked on top of the first one is a different color, it's a different layer. Leonardo Design Studio sees it differently. If you changed both of these to the same color, which it's not going to be able to see very well on the screen. If I come up here to view in wireframe, you'll see it there. That would then give you, looks the same here. If I click send, you're gonna see now that I have two of those frames because they're the same color. So Leonardo Design Studio separates out your design based on your color and puts it on your different mats. So there's quite a few things going on in this video here, um, but I wanna show you some examples of these compound paths. 
So that was another, we're done with that one. If I want to weld this to the rectangle now, I would make sure that it's overlapping. Since my rectangle is a frame, it is a compound path of two rectangles combined, and now it's one layer. When I select this, I can right click, choose path, and choose weld. It is then going to weld everything that's overlapping to that frame. And you're going to have one complete cut. It all changes to the same color. Leonardo is going to recognize that. It's all the same color. Now this isn't probably the best font for cutting, um, but it was just for the de demonstration. So one more example. If you haven't got the compound path concept yet, I am just going to draw a circle. If I hold down my shift key, I can draw a perfect circle. And I'm actually going to delete these over here. And then when I go to 100%, it's going to bring it back in here. So I have this orange circle. I'm gonna come down and I'm going to draw two small circles, or I'm gonna draw one small circle, hold my shift key down, and then I'm gonna change the color of this so we can see it. And I'm going to Control C, Control V, and copy and paste that. So I have these two circles. I'm just gonna align this, and I'm gonna right click and choose group. So now my circles move together. If I place these on top of this, I have two, well, I have three simple shapes, three simple paths. If I center this, so I center a line because I, that's who I am, if I right click on it and I choose paths, when I combine those paths, I have a button. So that is a way to work with your compound paths. If I undo this, I could make copies. Control C, Control V, move the copies off. And you could end up if you combine those paths, then you have a bu button with multiple holes, or you can create your own designs. You could create a, a Mandela design. You could create all kinds of things. So when you're bringing in files like SVG files that are uh, designed already for you, the compound paths do make a difference when you come into this or when you're trying to edit a file. So it's great to have an understanding of how it works. It does take time. And again, it's that light bulb moment, but hopefully that has helped to explain what the paths are in the Leonardo Design Studio. It is the same as a compound path in uh, Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space. Everybody just uses different terminology. So you can play around with that and make and break paths. And the more you do this, the more you're gonna learn about it. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.